Hi everyone, this is just a very short video to explain how to use Microsoft Teams, how to access the work that you might have been set and how to hand in assignments and watch live lessons that you might be asked to by your teachers over the next few weeks. Microsoft Teams is a platform that's been put together by the Microsoft Group and it can be found when you log into microsoftoffice.com. You should see access to all of the usual Office programs and see a logo for Microsoft Teams. Clicking on that logo will open up a new window in your browser, which you will then be able to use to navigate through and see any Teams that you've been added to. On the left hand side of the screen, you'll see Activity, Chat, Teams, Assignments, and the Calendar. If you have been put into any Teams, Click on the Teams logo and you should then see any classes that have been created. Now for this video, I've created some test classes just to talk you through some of the key features. Within each class, so looking at this English class initially, there is a general channel, which is a message board where any assignments or teacher notifications will appear for you that you will then be assigned or notified in the activity section in the top left hand corner. You can see that within this team, there is an assignment that is able for viewing that we will look at in a little while. The maths class looks exactly the same, as does the science, apart from the fact that there is an additional option for a live lesson there. When you're within the team, if we were to look at the assignment that has been set here, if I click on this, it will then take me into an assignments tab within the team and it will give me some information here about the homework or the task that I've been set. Now this assignment has a Word document attached to it. If I open that Word document, it will open it in Word 365, so the online version of Microsoft Word. Now the teacher that's assigned this task is allowing me to edit my own version of this sheet. Now, in order to do that, I would just click on edit document up here and then click edit in browser. That will then allow me to make any changes to this document within this screen. Any changes that I do make will be automatically saved. So I do not need to actually save a copy to my own online one drive section once i've completed or typed in so if i were to look at this first question how many children do you see here if i were to type in my response you see at the top it automatically says save if i close that document once i've finished i feel like i have now finished this piece of work i then click the hand in button just in the top right hand corner of the screen here that will then notify my teacher that I have submitted that work and it's time stamped to say that I have completed that task. If I now go into the assignments tab on the left hand side of the screen, I can see my three classes. If I click on that English class, it will now tell me that I don't have anything left to hand in. If I click on the completed section, I can see that I've handed in that piece of work. When the teacher marks it and feeds it back, you will get notified to say that your teacher has returned your assignment and you'll be able to then see the feedback that you've been given. If we look at the maths class, there's a slightly different style of, of assignment that has been put on here. This assignment involves clicking a link which will take me to my maths to complete the homework task. Now, when you click on that link, it will then open up My Maths for you to log in and you'll be able to complete the assignment in the same way that you would. But once you have finished the assignment, you then click Hand In again and you will then have done the work. The science task that I've set up uses a different format and you can see that on this homework I'm actually overdue 
it was due in yesterday. So when I submit this piece of work, it will tell me that I am submitting it late and it will inform the teacher that I've handed that work in late. But this is a quiz that's been set up in Microsoft Forms. Now, when you click that link, you then open up Microsoft Forms, which involves some multiple choice questions um, and some potential worded questions with pictures in there um, that I then just have to work my way through. And then right at the bottom, once I've finished all the questions, I can then click submit. And that would automatically submit the homework to the member of staff. If I go back onto Teams, within the science team, the teacher has written that they would like to do a live lesson. And they've written in that information that this lesson will be recorded so that others can watch it later on if they've missed the session for any reason. There is a bar here that has information about the lesson. If you click on that, it will open up some more detail about how to join the meeting. When the time comes for that lesson, I literally just have to click the join button and it will open up and it will allow me to enter that lesson to receive the, the learning that I need. It's important that when you join a live lesson that you switch your microphone and your camera off. Uh, your teacher will inform you of what section or what part of the lesson will be recorded um, so that you aren't put in a position that you don't want to be. If the teacher had assigned the lesson at a later point, I could add it to my calendar by clicking this button up here. And that would then say that I have accepted my attendance to that lesson. That lesson will then appear on the left hand side in the calendar section. So you can see that I have a lesson on Friday and it allows me to keep organized with what I've got going on in my work. There are chat functions and there are also options in the assignments to upload additional resources from your own computer. So if you go back into that maths homework, you can click add work and then that will then allow you to attach any files from your OneDrive or from your PC that you would like your teacher to mark. Hopefully that should be a nice introduction in how to navigate Teams. If you've got any questions then please ask your teachers.